Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to correctly upgrade your SD to Vita storage. So right now, my SD to Vita has a 16 gigabyte micro SD card, and I wish to update it to this 32 gigabyte SanDisk Ultra micro SD card. So basically, um, it isn't as simple as just copying over the files. We will actually need to format this card correctly to get it to work with the SD to Vita, but it really isn't that too complicated. So the first thing you want to do on your PlayStation Vita is make sure it's powered on and you want to go ahead and open up Vita Shell. So you guys can take note right now, my UXO is currently 14 gigabyte, basically 16 gigabyte, and I'm going to be upgrading that to this 32 gigabyte card. So what we want to do is we actually want to connect this micro SD card to our PC. So right here, I've just got a micro SD to USB adapter. I'm going to connect this to my PC right now. We also want to connect our PS Vita to our PC. So what I'm going to do is just press select and then go ahead and connect this to my computer. Right guys, so over on your computer, I've actually just connected the SD card which I wish to use. So this is my 32 gigabyte one. My PS Vita is not connected just yet, but you want to go over to a web browser because there will be two links in the description of this video. One of them is for Win32 Disk Imager. We need to click download and download this application. And the next one is the ZZ Blank image. So we also need to click download on this. So once you've downloaded the um, Win32 Disk Imager and the ZZ Blank image, um, you want to head over to your PC's Downloads folder and just find them in there. So we want to double click on the Disk Imager and just start up the program. So we can actually just install this software quickly. You can create a desktop shortcut if you wish to, because what we need to do is use this to um, patch our SD card with the ZZ Blank image so it can be used on our PS Vita. So let's just click on finish and launch the application. So here we need to choose the image file. This is where we click on this small folder icon and just select the blank image and now just click on open. Next, we need to select our device. Make sure your drive is selected or well, your SD card. So as you can see, mine's letter E and we've got letter E selected here. For hash, we're gonna leave that as none. So all we want to do guys is just click on write. And now on this part, you want to click yes. Keep in mind, everything on the SD card will be deleted. So we're just gonna click on yes. It's going to say write successful. Now what's gonna happen is it's actually going to remount itself uh, to your PC. So maybe just give this a few seconds. We can actually exit out of this software. And now if we click on our SD card, it's going to ask us to format it. So we need to click on format disk. Now from here, capacity, leave that as normal. File system, we need to select XFAT. Allocation size, we need to select default. And then we just need to click on start. Then just click on OK. And now our SD card is ready to be used with our SD to Vita. So now we can close out of this. And as you can see, our SD card is working perfectly fine and it's the right file system. Okay guys, so now my PS Vita is connected and Vita Shell is open. So what I'm going to do is just press select, then it's just going to connect like this. So what we're actually going to do is transfer everything from our PS Vita onto our new SD card. So what we need to do at the top is click on view, go into options and make sure you click on view and then make sure hidden files um, is enabled so you can just click show hidden files and folders um, on my PC I can just enable hidden items right here so that's basically what you need to do now this part is fairly simple we need to select every single item on our PS Vita so just scroll all the way down make sure you highlight everything in blue and we want to go and right click and then copy so now we have got everything copied go onto our brand new micro SD card and just right click and paste now basically what this is doing is just copying our previous SD card files onto our new SD card. This can actually take some time. It will calculate and tell you. Um, so for me it's saying about 26 minutes. Um, I don't believe that. I reckon it might take about 15 minutes. So we're just going to wait for this to complete. Right guys, so it's finally done and it's come up with this. Um, replace files. You can simply just press replace files. It doesn't really matter. And now we should have our PS Vita 
and our brand new SD card, exactly the same um, size and storage. So if you right click on the original, go to properties, you can see it's 7.25 gigabytes. Now if we test it on our new SD card, as you can see it's 7.25 gigabytes as well. So we know that this copied all the files across correctly. We can now turn off hidden items because you don't want to delete something by accident. And that is literally it. So now we can disconnect our new SD card and test it out on our PS Vita. Right guys, so we're back off the computer. Got my new SD card with all the files on and obviously my PS Vita. So we're just going to close off this message, close out a Vita shell. We want to hold our power button, wait for the menu to come up and then go to power off. So what we're going to do from here is actually take out our SD to Vita. So simply just take it out right now. And now we're just going to swap around the card. So here's my 32 gigabyte one. And here is the 16 gigabyte one, which I currently got. I won't be needing this anymore. So you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. And here is the new 32 gigabyte one. So now we can just put this back into our PlayStation Vita. And we can hold the power button to power on our console. So let's find out if this thing works. Let's open up um, Hencore and just launch the custom firmware. It's a good idea to install Henkaku again when replacing the card. So let's just press X on that. Success. Now we can press X to exit. So let's see, hopefully our storage should have been updated and hopefully we won't get any corrupt files. So let's open up VitaShell right now. Hopefully it should load. Yep, so there you go, it has loaded. Now if you take a look at the UXO, you can see it's now 29 gigabytes. So it did successfully work and it didn't get replaced as our URO or anything like that. Now if you do have any problems with this, um, I would recommend using the TF card plugin tool. So let's just start this up. And what you can actually do with this is just basically remount it. I don't need to because I've already got it, but you would just press X on this one. So use SD to Vita as UXO, memory card, UMAO. Very simple. I think it's circle actually in this program because it says down there. But yeah, we managed to get it successfully working. All games and all files should start up. So we can just try any kind of emulator and it should load completely fine so that is pretty much it for this video so if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one